going on everybody? It's your girl Sneaker Mom here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Nike Airship every game. Let's get into it. This nice box you got this nice cell box that has nike and the usa colorway going throughout the top of the box right here you got the same on this side same on that side which is this is the front giving you the front tag of the shoe right here then you got the same right here on the back of the shoe also but let me go ahead and get to the front of the box and it reads jordan airship pesp and the colorway is summit white and diffused blue let's get into the insides opening up the box you got your normal stamp of approval right here on top of the box that's pretty much it. White tissue paper on the inside of the box. That's pretty much it. But we do get this little card on the inside that says Owner's Manual Airship PE right here on the inside of the box. Then opening up the booklet, you just got the uh, airship and it's just showing you all the different details that you got. Uh, how they made this shoe, how it was constructed. All those different things on the inside of the shoe, which I think is very clean. You know, it's always nice to have something inside of your box. And they gave us this, so like I said, very nice. But that's pretty much it for the box. So let's go ahead and get into the main ingredient of this video. And it is a Nike Airship every game. All right, started off by saying these right here are very, very clean. Like I said, very nice shoe, very clean shoe. Loving the USC colorway. Love this nice crackle leather we got going throughout the whole upper and this nice hairy suede we got going throughout also. To me, it reminds you of a Jordan 1, even though I know it's not exactly a Jordan 1. You got little tad bit differences in these and Jordan 1s, but overall, to me, it still looks like a Jordan 1, and it's very, very clean. And it's a nice, very nice summer colorway to just go ahead and rock, especially with this nice hair suede we got going throughout the upper. These right here, they were compared to another pair that came out by somebody named Nigel. I think he's a biker. I'm not going to act like I know who he is. I know he gifted a pair to, P to PJ Tucker. He is looked at kind of similar. You still got the same UNC colors, but you got a couple differences going throughout the shoe, especially like in the back of the shoe where here it said bike air. And on the back of these right here, they say every game. But to me, still got the same colors, still look better. To me, I actually like these a tad bit better. I know those probably are more wanted just because it was a collaboration with the uh, Nigel. But these right here, I'm loving them. Very nice, very clean colorway. And you can't go wrong, like I said, with this UNC blue and this nice crackled leather. And then you got this nice uh, vintage look with this cell on the mid. So very, very clean shoe. Let's go ahead and get into the description. You got your nice blue, like baby blue, UNC blue, Harry suede going throughout the whole upper right here, going throughout the shoe, um, shoelace part right here. Also, nice crackled leather throughout the shoe, which is very clean. Give you like that cell, that off-white look, which is a very nice colorway. And it's just a nice shoe that they added to the shoe. Back of the shoe, like I said, it says every game. As we all know, they said that this shoe was made because of uh, Joy used to wear his UNC shorts under his bas uh, basketball shorts under his uniform. He wore it every game. So that's how it came up with the every game that they put on the back of the shoe. I think that's nice. You know, most uh, companies, you know, they don't really give a story. And these right here actually give a story of how he used to wear his lucky shorts, his lucky UNC shorts. He used to wear them under his Chicago Bulls shorts when he played. And that's how these shoes came about. And I think that's very cool just to, you know, bring it up. Different aspects of stuff that you didn't really know that he did unless you really paid attention. And now these shoes are bringing more attention to what Michael Jordan actually did and what he actually was. And I think that's very nice. But yeah, let's go ahead to the heel. Like I said, you got every game stitched in the back right there. The heel with this nice baby blue hairy suede going through on the heel of the shoe. Inside the shoe, you just got uh, a, jump, a Jumpman symbol right there in like a navy blue color on the inside of the shoe right there, which is clean. As you can see, they come with the size right here on the side of the heel, on the inside of the sock liner right here. Got size six, my size and men's. Came with uh, the back of the tongue, just nothing spectacular, it's just a regular back of the tongue right there. We'll go back to the front, the front of the tongue right here just says 
Nike here in that nice uh, dark blue color on the tongue right here. You got your vinyl looking on the back of the heel, I mean, of the uh, tongue right here. Also, as you can see, they did come with these nice uh, laces. It's like a dark blue lace, kind of a blue jean looking lace. I think that's very clean. I like the way it just kind of gives that little extra pop. They did come with a pair of extra laces, as you all know. They was like an off-white color. We're going to go to the midsole. You got this nice cell midsole, which I think is so clean. To me, just brings the shoe out. Then you got the bottom of the shoe. You got that all dark blue on the bottom. And it looks like it's worn. As you can see, you see those little white speckles down on the bottom. Kind of like the Lost and Founds, giving you that kind of worn look, vintage look, which I think is very clean. And it brings the shoe out. I like this shoe. It's very nice. It's very clean. This is definitely standing in the collection. Just because, I, like I said, loving the colorway and I love the story behind the shoe. This was the left shoe. Here goes the right shoe. Like I said, looks the same exact way. This one did come with a tag right here that gave you, uh, it just says, uh, do the natural cracks that's seen on the upper. So, like, you know, you got your crackle level going throughout the whole upper of the shoe. Then you come with these nice cell laces. I think I'm going to be switching them out to these cells. Seen a couple pictures with these cell laces and it just gives it that extra nice clean look but when i do want to pop i'm going to definitely put these dark blue laces in also because both laces look very nice in the shoe and it was kind of hard to choose what color you want to go with or you can wear it with uh mismatch laces and they still would be looking good so totally up to you if you got them but this was uh the other shoe like i said it looks the same as that way that nice hairy suede every game in the back of the heel laces midsole and that nice cell midsole you got that uh, vintage bottom that looks like it was worn in that nice warm blue colorway. Clean shoe. You got your uh, size right here on the side. Like I said, size 6 in men's what I wear in men's. Clean shoe. I did want to kind of compare them to the Umma years just to show you that, uh, that crackled leather how it looks. You can tell kind of the difference. Well, you can't tell the difference, but you can tell how they kind of similar with that crackled leather on both of these. This is the Umma years right here. That's that crackle leather that those came with. And then here goes the airships right here. And then that's their crackle leather. Like I said, very both very nice shoes. But this shoe did remind me of the Amama Mama Year. Y'all let me know down in the comments below what y'all think about these. Did you go for them? Or do you still like the Amama Mama Years? I know a lot of people didn't even like the Amama Mama Years just because they had that crackle leather. I love mine. To me, it's still my favorite jewel one right now in my collection. These right here. But these right here, they still, they coming up there. Because these, like I said, are very nice. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. You try to go for them. I think they came out on April the, I mean, on May the 10th. And they retail for $150. I know everyone was trying to go for these. So they did sell out pretty quickly. It, I know it was a red and white pair that came out also. But these was the main color I wanted. I love this baby blue and white. And I'm sure everybody else did too. Because they was the ones that went the quickest. But overall, I think in the aftermarket, not bad of a price. So if you still want to go for them, you can still pick them up. Probably for under retail right now. Because... Everyone is not really going to the aftermarket for them. Either they was like, either they was going to get them on retail day or they wasn't getting them at all. So, got my own retail day. Got lucky. Was able to cop me a pair. They just came in. Like I said, these are a very, very nice shoe retailer for $150. So, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think about these. Are you going to go for some of them? But that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So this is a Nike Airship every game. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Did you like them? Did you go for them? Did you cop? Or is it a pass? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So if you're new to watching my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button for your girl. If you've been watching this long, go and hit that like button so we can get this video out there. But if you follow me on Instagram, it's stinkermom1721. Stay tuned to the end for that on foot. And until the next time, it's your girl, Sneaker Mom. Peace.